Hey Glam Fam, it's Linwood with my beautiful daughter Alexandria. Hi Glam Fam. And today we are going to take down this style which is like a day old. It was the ponytails of twists. And uh, we're going to put it in a nice cute style. Now just so you guys know a bit of background here. This is a collaboration video with the lovely Miss Channing Lily. If you have not seen her, you should check out her videos. I'll link it in the description box down below so you can check out her channel. She has a lot of really cute styles that she does featuring Marley hair and she is a self-proclaimed ponytail queen. Make sure that you guys check her out after you see this video because in this instance we're going to be doing the same style and I'm going to be doing it for little people. She's going to be doing it for college students so that way we can get some back to school ready looks for you. Back to school is around the corner. Are you excited? Yeah! Alrighty, so we're going to go ahead. I'm going to start by taking this down and then we'll get into the voiceovers. All right, Glam Fam, so we're gonna begin by creating a triangle section just by parting from the high point of the brows to a center meeting point just before the apex of the head. Now, this is where we're gonna be cornrowing at uh, here momentarily. Everything else is gonna kind of be clipped out of the way for the moment, so we're just gonna clip this section off and then part down the center. Okay, so now that we've parted down the center section of the head, we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna turn her to the side for you guys here, and what we're gonna do is follow this portion from the ear straight on up. So I'm gonna create a part line that goes straight up across here, right up into the apex of the head. Now just so you guys know, the apex is the highest point on the head. And we're literally just gonna section these areas off. Now just so you guys know, uh, this was really inspired by two different photos that Channing picked out that uh, she really liked and she was like, you know what, hey, what do you think about these? And I was like, I like them. And I was like, well, what do you think about us kind of putting them together? Because we couldn't decide on which one we wanted to do. So I'll show you guys the two photos and then kind of show you how we brought those together, uh, which has been interesting. We've been messaging each other back and forth just to try to figure out a style. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and part off from here. I've got this section that we have. I'm just gonna clip off that top section out of the way. And we're gonna follow that same section from the top of the ear. Instead of going up this time, we're going to bring it straight on across the back, across the occipital bone. Now the occipital bone is a bone that protrudes out at the base of the skull back here. So once we have it sectioned off, that means that we've got a section here, one here, one here in the back, and then of course we still have our triangular section right up here in the front. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure each of these sections are detangled and then we'll move forward. So for this part, I've got a little bit of Marley here, and I'm just gonna take this hair out. We're gonna cut it in half, because I just need it for some fullness, not for the length. Um, if you don't wanna use this, you don't have to, so not a big deal. But I'm just literally gonna take it here, and we're going to cut this in half. So once we've cut that hair in half, I'm gonna take a single piece and we're gonna part it off into three. This is gonna allow me to have some hair prep and set aside for some feed-in uh, sections of this first little cornrow. So you guys can see I have our hair sectioned off in the sections like this and I just have it twisted to kind of keep it out of the way and organized. I found these little clips in my local beauty supply store and I disassembled it so that way I could have the cuff and this little jewel here separately. And this jewel is what I'm going to attach to the front of her braid in that front section. Now I've got some got to be glued which I will never use again for her hair, it was terrible but you know, I do like mama said and try to limit what I say about it because it's not nice. Do you ever have one of those moments where you didn't really think stuff through well? This is one of those. So what I did is I went ahead and parted out a very small section of her hair here and you guys saw me put a little bit of gel on there and brush it out. And I'm gonna take a piece of thread and wrap it around the base of that hair there. Chin up please, Sam. Thank you. Uh, from there I'm gonna go ahead and feed this through the end on this jewel because I didn't think about how you're gonna attach this after you disassemble it, it's so tiny. And you know, that's just, uh, I don't know, pray, pray much for me because the level of struggle I'm right now is so high and I'm so committed to this jewel. For what reason? I don't know. But at any rate, okay, ooh, look at God. Okay, so we went ahead, got it on there, and now what I'm gonna do, let me see if I can zoom you guys in. I'm gonna go ahead and take this and slide it onto the hair using that thread to pull the hair right on out like that there. So we're gonna slide that down to the base of the scalp. 
And from there I'm going to go ahead and part off in three sections to begin her braid. So from here we're literally just going to start braiding and I'm adding in those extra pieces for feed ins. If you need a tutorial for that, I do have one on this channel as well. So I'll make sure to link that in the description box as well. So once I've done that, you guys can kind of see I've got that singular braid there. I'm going to end this really simply and we're just going to go ahead and rubber band the end of that section. Of course you want to make sure there's no loose hair caught in a rubber band. It doesn't have to be super tight, you just really want it to kind of hold that hair out of the way and keep it from unraveling on you. So that's literally all we're going to do is go ahead and start off with that section just like that. And from there I'm just going to go ahead and split this middle strand in half. Bring half of it to one side, half of it to the other, and we're going to continue forward. Now from here I'm just putting a little bit more gel right around the outside edges. Again, like this gel, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and brush it in. And we're going to clip it up and out of the way, and this just kind of helps to lay it uh, so that way I'm not having to worry about the hair trying to come back loose or anything like that as I braid. This is an excellent technique while you're braiding. Now of course I'm doing feed ins on this portion as well, but only through this front um, I don't I wouldn't call it a quadrant I guess subsection of the hair uh, over here and then we're just gonna basically uh, braid in just her hair at the rest so what I want this added hair to do is add to the thickness of the braids I don't want it to change up her texture in the puff in the back um, so of course you can do it however you like especially if your baby has shorter hair or thinner hair you can go ahead and add in the Marley hair or if your baby already has a pretty thick uh, amount of hair you don't have to add in any at all it's really at your discretion so from there we're going ahead and braid it in but then I realized I forgot to put these two braids on the sides here because I was busy running my mouth and so the level of struggledom was entirely too high so just parting off above the ear and uh, cornrowing and you can see my child was on level thousand of distraction and was not trying to hold her head for me so just you know a gentle redirection of the head every two section, uh, seconds was so necessary. But uh, at any rate, so we're gonna continue these cornrows above the ears coming forward. Make sure to tilt the front of those cornrows downward. This is what helps to keep it from sticking out at the sides of the head. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and finish my braid on the top. Uh, part off again and now I decided to use some foaming wrap which also did not work well because foaming wrap doesn't have a ton of hold but after they got to be glued so heavily disappointed me I was like let me see what I can work with so then just continuing this uh, portion down I finally grabbed my favorite gel which is the uh, extreme by wetline and it did the trick which it always does I should have just used it in the first place uh, and from there we're just going to continue braiding right on down to the end of the head. Now the reason why I do this in sections is because even though I didn't change up my style of braiding, those part lines are still visible and it just gives a bit more of that neat sectioned off look without you having to put a ton of work into it. We're going to clip that off, do the same thing on the opposite side, but on the opposite side I forgot the two braids there too because again, running my mouth, level of struggledom is on 10,000 at this point and I was ready to just stab myself in the eye with a rusty spoon. I cannot with the struggle. Okay, so pause for the levels of struggledom. So I keep forgetting these two braids, so I had to basically take down the top portion. Let me. I'm just, I'm struggling all day today. Hold on, back up please. Uh, so I ended up having to take down my braids here to install these two here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get back into doing these braids in the top. So pray for me, the level of struggle. Plus the gel that I was using, I was starting off with the got to be glue with the black one. I don't usually use that one. And now I remember why, so never again, never again okay let's move on okay so we're literally just going to repeat the same process on this side um, again just only adding hair through this top section of the head it will fill the hair out enough to where you're not having to add it in all the way throughout because I don't want it to look unnatural uh, I just want it to look like she has naturally very thick full hair which Zan has a good amount of hair but not as thick as I wanted it to be where these braids would touch when I'm finished. Of course placing a little bit of gel around the edges make sure the gel is alcohol free especially if you're putting it on dry hair because you don't need any problems with dryness in there. From there we're going to ponytail it off spray it with a bit of water just to kind of activate her texture 
and I'm gonna fan these braids out. This is what's gonna help them to touch so you don't see the part line down the center. And you guys can see here, uh, I'm gonna start adding some shells to the ends of her braids. It just adds an extra little something. I feel like it kind of sets the look off. Uh, don't mind my junk in the floor in the background, by the way, like, uh. Okay, so from there we're gonna go ahead and lay down her edges just with a bit of that same gel. And I've got this edge brush I found at my local beauty supply store, which honestly I was skeptical about, but it actually has done a really good job. It makes it very easy and it, it just looks more sanitary than using a toothbrush because you know, no one looks at a toothbrush and thinks that was never used in the mouth. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, so anyway, go ahead and attach the cuff on there that we uh, disassembled earlier. And this is pretty much the finished look. I think it's a pretty easy, super cute look that is nice. And I mean, if you can't cornrow, you can omit that part. Uh, but I mean, if you can't cornrow, I, I don't know that you would be able to do the braids in general. So uh, hopefully you're able to braid. If not, I've got tons of tutorials on that as well. Um, let me know what you guys think in the description or in the comment box. Geez, that's the struggle down below. <laughs> All right, Glam Fam, so this was our tutorial for this look here. Full of struggle dumb because I don't know what was going on with my memory today. But I hope that you guys like it. If so, let us know what you think down in the comments below. And if you are a college student or you know someone who's older that would rock this style, make sure to check out Channing's version of it for older people. Not, not like, you know, saying that you're crusty, but you know, you're probably not seven. Um, and that way you guys can go ahead and check it out. Make sure you check out her channel and don't forget to subscribe to her channel. If you're not subscribed to ours, please subscribe to ours as well. You have anything you want to add? We've been making a lot of videos. I hope you like them all. And we shall make more videos whenever my father makes more videos and editing it then. I'm telling you, she's so biblical. We shall. Anyway, until next time you guys, take care. God bless. Stay glam and... We know you love... <laughs> Hopefully you love us. You know we... You know we love you, boo. Yes, we do. Until next time, you guys. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. What she said. <laughs>